Hello, welcome to my channel. And uh, in today's uh, SolidWorks VBA video, we are going to uh, change uh, active document or the parts material from Excel. Okay. So if you have any part open, uh, we are trying to change material through Excel of that specific part. That is what we are trying to do. If you have missed my previous video, I will tag a link into the uh, description. Please go through the previous videos where we are doing step by step initialization of your Excel file for the uh, SOLIDWORKS VBA. Uh, how to link Excel and SOLIDWORKS, that is what you are trying to do. So in this video, we will start with the basic file. So I have created few, uh, uh, one document that is uh, to set the material. Uh, C3 uh, is the range which will uh, list the material. And I have created one button that is set material. Okay. So I can go to developer tab. I will try to get the visual basic uh, open and then these initial commands we have covered in the previous video. These commands basically do we have defined the variable SOLIDWORKS app, SOLIDWORKS document. So first it will open the document uh, application, then it will open the document and the last command which is a set, set uh, SW document, it will uh, open the activate document. Okay, so we will change material of that specific document. Now we will uh, put a code for add material. Okay, so asterisk is basically giving you the comments. So this will not get into the program. Now for uh, set the material for the uh, SOLIDWORKS document, we will be using a library called set material property name 2. Okay. And for that, you will be needing three uh, variables that is configuration, database and name of the material. So that is what we will be doing now. So we will be doing a declaration for three variables that is str material name as string, then dimension str str configuration as string and then dim uh, str matdb that is database as again string so we have derived three variables uh, as of now now we will be needing one more variable to read material property from the Excel. So I am creating one more variable that is MTRL, the shortcut for the material, uh, as a string again. Okay, and then I will call that material. Material. Uh, I will store material name from the Excel by calling range. Uh, open bracket, close bracket, double quotes, uh, check whether you have C3 as range. So my C column and third row, so that is fine. No issues with that. Uh, by the time I will just open SOLIDWORKS in the meantime. Uh, uh, C3 dot value, I will read that value. Okay, and then that value will be stored in material now. Uh, then I will declare uh, str material name is equal to mtrl. So my material name now will get from the material. Then for configuration, what we will do is if we are not using any configuration, sorry. So if you are not using any configuration, I will copy this variable name and I will declare it as empty. So empty will make sure the current configuration or the active configuration will be used. Same thing for database. So str matdb is equal to empty. So we are not focusing right now on configurations and database. We are focusing now on changing the material property. And then what we will do is we will call SW doc, uh, which we have already created as the active document. And then we will call the function called set material 
property p r o p r t y property name two and we will be needing three uh, arguments for that the first argument is the configuration st sorry st r c uh, c o n f that is my variable name second is st r uh, m a t d b material database and last configuration is your name so that is st r m a t name uh, make sure you are using uh, same uh, cases uh, small cas capitals uh, as the string name let us try to uh, execute this uh, there is an error okay, fine so we need to check sw doc we have already declared as the active document so no issues with that let us check the variable str configuration is empty str db is just taking yeah so no issues with this uh let's see what's the issue so i'll save this i may not be save this document so we'll see. so i will stop close i will come back to click on save material uh yeah object doesn't support the property or method so maybe the spelling mistake sw doc set is capital property name is two yeah so i need to run the main sheet yeah now it's running and it has taken material as nylon six so few things very important which we need to do is uh, you can have list of material in excel so i will quickly show you how to add list of material in excel important thing is the material name should exact match with the solidworks material so what you can do is you can go to right click edit material and get the exact name of the material whichever you want to take just uh, type the exact material in the excel that is what required so i have few samples here so what i will do is i will make it automated by making a data validation okay so in data validation what i will do is i will put a list and i will put all the list of materials which i have here and uh, enter and i will have that as a list now so uh, idea is if i change this to plain carbon if i say set material my active document should change material to plain carbon okay and uh, this will also give should change the material property so if you have go to mass property now it is showing 1.66 grams if i try to change it again to say maybe brass it's getting updated definitely in the material just to confirm i am getting different mass also okay so this is how you can have uh, or use set material uh, from excel to change material into the solid books okay so if you like this content do follow this whole playlist we are trying to cover uh, uh, linking between excel and solidworks through step by step okay and idea is you we are trying to control various properties of the active document using excel we will be also trying to get documents or the properties from the active document like mass uh, center of mass uh, a density volume all those things we will try to get into the excel directly so in coming videos we will be discussing that so if you like this content do subscribe my channel like my channel like the videos and uh, share a word about channel happy learning thank you for joining